Hello everyone and welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today we are starting a new series on my channel. For Christmas, my brother and his wife got me the Making Faces book by Kevin Aquan. I am so excited for this. So I've read through all of the technique pages. He has ones on like foundation, eyes, eyebrows, uh, bleaching. He talks a lot about bleaching, but this was written in the 90s. Um, you know, lips, different finishes of all of this stuff. Eyeshadows, lipsticks, um, finishing touches, all that good stuff. So throughout this book, he has different looks that he has named. So there is um, the swinger and I don't want to lose my page. The player, uh, the anarchist. My goal is to get through all of his looks and see how they turn out, see how they change my face, see what techniques he uses, because he does go step by step for the techniques that he's used on these girls. So the first one that we're going to be doing today is the show girl. You can see right here is a list of all the products that he's used. I am splotchy, I'm sorry. I just changed into my shirt. My shirt touched my neck. I'm red, I'm sensitive, leave me alone. So, the list of products that he's used is right here. He doesn't list exactly what the products were, but he says, you know, stick foundation. Spoiler alert, I don't have a stick foundation, so we're gonna make do. There is, you know, apricot blush, light brown powder eyeshadow, mid brown powder eyeshadow, and then he goes through and shows you kind of his technique to achieve this look. So I am going to be looking at this picture while I do my makeup just to make sure that we're getting the same overall vibe and hopefully just get as close as possible to what she looks like. However, I'm not cutting my hair, I'm not bleaching my hair, um, obviously, just for a YouTube video, and I don't have wigs, so this is what you get. All right, I'm going to throw my hair up really quick so that we can see what's going on with my face, and I will be right back, and let's just jump right into it. Hair is up and out of the way. Ignore my baby hairs. I just blow dried my hair this morning so they are like out and about. So the first thing for this look, he uses face tape, which is like those tapes that you know you stick right here and then it wraps around your head and it like pulls your eyes back. I don't have face tape so we're not doing that. But what we are doing is covering our brows just like the drag queens because that's what he does in here. And you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to zoom through really quick, me gluing my eyebrows down. Um, if you are interested in a video on this, I can do it. I'm not really sure why you all are gluing your eyebrows down though, so. But if you're interested, comment down below and I guess we'll see. <laughs> Okay, brows are covered and we're, honestly, we're just looking freaking beautiful. I know, we look so good. I look so good. We, you guys aren't sitting here with your eyebrows covered. He next uses a stick foundation and it says to generously apply all over the face, uh, blend in with a sponge. Stick foundation is used when maximum coverage is desired. I don't have a stick foundation, but I do have some full coverage foundation. I have the Airbrush Flawless Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. I have the shade 5.5. 
So I'm just going to squirt out about two pumps, uh, maybe like a pump and a half onto my palette. And I am going to mix in the LA Girl Pro Matte. I have this in the shade Natural. It's a lot lighter and I am not the shade 5.5. So I am going to mix these to lighten the Charlotte Tilbury. This probably will still be too dark for me, don't judge me. All right, and he says, generously applied all over the face. And it says lips, lids, neck, chest. Can't really see my chest, but where's the mirror? Just doing this blindly, who am I? I just had to go to the grocery store today. So I'm gonna be looking really fantastic for the grocery store. I'm just gonna take a sponge and start blending this out. He says over the lips, we're going over the lips. Don't forget your ears. If you are doing a full coverage, full face, even if it's not to this extent, make sure you get like in your nose crevices. Because on women, they're typically very red in that area. And if you miss like pushing product into that, you're gonna notice. I didn't use any primer either. Looking throughout all of these looks, it does not seem like he uses face primer for any of them. And I know that Scott Barnes doesn't use face primer either. What's that about? All right, I don't know why I'm still blending. I'm blended, I'm done. Um, I have not practiced this look, by the way, so we are doing it together, you and me. Next. Oh, he doesn't use concealer? Oh no. All right, well then I better get a little bit more and make sure to really get like my inner corners here. Okay, I think we're good now. Set the entire face with a light translucent face powder. Use a sponge. Wow, he's going ham for this look. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Okay, so I'm just going to use, because it says use a sponge, I'm just gonna use the other side. So I'm using the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. I'm going to dip my sponge in there. And lightly set. Lightly set with a sponge. I don't know about that, man. Is that possible? I'm gonna try. I did switch up my lighting too because it just seems so gloomy here lately that I'm not getting the lighting that I want. So I am still filming in natural light in my sunroom, but I do have my ring light out now. I think I'm pretty dang powdered. Lightly dust apricot blush onto the cheeks, temples, collarbones, and chest. I was going to use this bright orange one from Anastasia, but I think that's gonna to be too much. And then I have one from Wet n Wild that's called Keep It Peachy, and I think this one will be perfect. Wow, that looks so bright on camera. It's not that bright in real life. So because this says lightly dust, I'm going to use a duo fiber brush. So up here, there's not as many bristles where the white is. So it actually gives you a lighter application as opposed to a denser brush that I usually use. This one is, it's very soft, but it's still definitely more dense than this guy, so we're going to use this. Looking at this picture, it seems like he starts her blush right about here, which is what I actually do normally on my face. I don't put it on like the apples of my cheeks. So I'm going to do kind of how I normally do my blush application. I'm gonna tap that off because the lock actually came off on there. And I'm just going to like I am barely grazing my face and I'm just lightly applying that. You said on the temples? I'm actually going to kind of start on my temples and come down onto my cheeks. So that way we're getting I don't know, hopefully the same application that he had. 
this is back before YouTube existed, so they had to actually write books about makeup, not just videos. Can you imagine if Kevin Aquan had a YouTube channel? Alright, I think that's a pretty good application. He does not use an eyeshadow base, but I know my eyelids, they will crease, so I am going to use my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden super quick. Moving on, he says a light brown powder shadow. I am going to be using my Morphe 35O palette. I just use this as a palette for foundation. Um, these palettes from Morphe are super cheap, and it is pretty much just all browns ton of browns but use whatever you have you don't need this palette to achieve this look but he says to use a light brown powder eyeshadow it is applied lightly all over the eye area up to the brow bone and softly under the eye using a medium eyeshadow brush so let's start off with that so to get the color that i want i like the tone of this one right here it is not as orange as the others so I'm actually going to mix this with the cream shade up here to get the brown that I'm looking for. Don't be afraid to mix shadows to get the color that you're looking for, by the way. Do whatever you want. I'm going to be using a Morphe M433. I have a MAC 217. They're pretty much interchangeable. Any small fluffy brush will do, it seems like. And let's get to mixing. She also has her eyeshadow in a very, um, this way, and even though I have hooded eyes, I am going to do my best to try to achieve that. My eyes are too small. I need a smaller brush to go underneath the lid. This stuff is just so fun to me. Like, makeup, this is what it's all about, is just playing with it and having fun and seeing how it can transform your face. Like, when I got this book, this is honestly what kind of inspired me to even start my channel because I wanted to recreate the looks. I mean, I've always wanted to have my own channel, but getting this book is what really pushed me to start my channel because I was like, oh, I want to recreate these looks. Like, how fun would that be? How cool would that be? And then people need to see me recreate these looks. Uh. Okay, then he says, apply mid-brown eyeshadow over light brown shadow in the crease of the eye. So this is the color mixed with that cream that we used all over the lid. I'm just now mixing it with this dark brown to get a mid-toned brown and putting that in my crease. And then he uses an iridescent peach eyeshadow. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to use this color right here. So to apply this, I'm going to be using a fluffier flat brush as opposed to what I've normally been using in my videos. So this is a really dense very thin flat brush so having it be a little fluffier and not as dense kind of like the blush it's going to give a lighter application we're not going for a foil look we're just going for like it seems like a dusting over the lid you guys might always see me tapping my brush off too it's just to knock off the excess so we're not getting any fallout on to the cheeks or anything. That is it for the eyes. That was actually pretty quick and simple. But now is the brows, and this is the part I'm scared for. This is the brow that he's showing. 
Do we, do we all see that? <laughs> and he uses a gold tone and then a dark one to put in more like hairs. So what I'm going to use, because her hair is bleached blonde, which is why I think he's using a gold tone, I'm going to be using my eyebrow designer pencil from Essence. So we're going to draw in this shape. <laughs> this takes practice. You might want to ask a friend to help. Begin the line at the inside of the eye starting slightly higher than where the real brow grows. Arc the line across and taper off. So my real brow starts about here. Oh my god, do I start up here? Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay, just go for it. Just do it. You've got this. All right, he arcs it. So I don't even know if I went far enough. Now it says to draw in hairs. So I actually don't know, I hope this will show up. I'm using my Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil. I'm using my pencil in deep brown. God, you guys, these baby hairs. <laughs> Maybe I should have like thrown a headband on, but I didn't. I hope this will show up. crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. Next he curls and coats the lashes with mascara. I'm going to be using my Lancome, Ms. Ma, how do you say that? Monsieur Big mascara. So the last thing that we have to do is outline the mouth with a medium flesh tone lip pencil and fill in and over that apply a pinkish beige lip color blot and reapply. So the lip color that I chose today is the NYX lip pencil in Nude Truffle. Okay, lip pencil is on. So um, he says apply a pinkish beige lip color. So the color that I'm going to be using for that is Honeycomb by Bite Beauty. It is one of my favorites. And he says blot and to reapply. Let's take the hair down and see how this looks now. Yeah, I actually really like the look if it weren't for these brows. I am going to just kind of go back now that my hair is done and you think you're done, you might not actually be done. So I do wanna blend this out a bit more. So without any more product on that first brush that we used, I'm just going to lightly, lightly, like if you can see that's barely, barely touching my fingertip. That's what I'm going to do to blend that up in there. Holding the brush at the end so that way you're not getting too much pressure and that'll help with that as well. I think that's really all that we need though for this look. I never apply my blush like this, if anything. It was similar to how I do it, but I don't normally bring it onto the temples like this. I've never done this lip combo before and I absolutely love it. It's not a revolutionary lip color, but I'm a huge fan. So I will definitely be doing that again. Um, I love the color that that made. 
and the eyes were really simple. So it shows just because you are, you know, one of the world's greatest makeup artists doesn't mean you're using, you know, 10 eyeshadows on your eyes and, you know, using a million colors to blend everything out. It's, it's about like the technique and having fun. And I had fun today. This was, this was good. Like I said, this is actually something that I would wear out like base included if it weren't for the brows. If I could have my brows be my brows, I, I would even wear that out. I think it's really different, but sometimes it's about pushing yourself and stepping out of your comfort zone to try new things. And that's why I'm so excited about this book because I'm so excited to try new techniques and see what works for me. That's why I watch like a million different YouTubers as well because everyone has a different technique. You know, you've been watching the first YouTuber forever and maybe your makeup application is very similar to theirs. And then all of a sudden you start watching someone new and they do something a little bit different. And then it's like, oh, well maybe I should try that. Maybe that'll work on me. So I'm so excited to go through these different looks and see what works. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm very excited to play around with it. So this was the first look, this was Showgirl. Should I try and pose like her? Look at her. This is like, that was my dream hair when I was a teenager. It was kind of like the emo, the scene kids. That's, that's kind of a scene girl right there. There will be a lot more Kevin Aquan looks coming. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a ton of fun making it. So if you liked it, please hit the like button. If you want to make me feel a little happier, you want to brighten up my day hit the like button. Please subscribe and if you guys ever need to know what makeup I've been using throughout the entire video, just check down in the description box and I have it listed there. I'll be uploading every Tuesday and Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I really, really appreciate it and go have a good one. Bye. <clears throat> I haven't talked yet this morning. Or, welcome to my channel. Finger guns, crap. Um, ooh, I did it. Oops. Oh jeez. Jump right in. All right, I already said that. Do I like that I say that? I don't think I do. Um, and, you know what, I'll explain that in a second. Um, uh, hmm. So I'm using the cover of. Mm -hmm. So, do, do, do. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I waved way too long. Alright. Uh, oops. There's hair everywhere. Oh, no, that's not attached to my head. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, what am I saying? What? What? Oh my god. What? For real. Bentley, what? What am I saying? Mm, more hair just fell out. I need to vacuum in here. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Everyone, it's all fine. Mine is in, oh no, that's the wrong shade that I just pumped out. You know, I thought it looked super dark. Well, um, I'm using the, where is the, what, where's the lid? What am I doing? Hello? Oh my God. The powder's in the lid. I was holding it. Okay. Oh crap, actually, what do I want? What do I want? Oh, I'm southern today. With that cool talent. Dark brown with that cool talent. Dark brown with the cool talent. Oh my god. I'm a little nervous, y'all. Y'all, where are these southern accents coming from today? Oh my gosh. So, using... Oh no. There's hair everywhere. There, oh, there we go. There we go, yes. Um, forward. There, that's what I need. That's what I need. I need this to come like that. A little too comb over -y. Ow, did you hear that? That hurt. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
oh my god i have lipstick <laughs> all over my teeth holy crap i'm actually kind of obsessed with it maybe it's because my skin's tanner too and then i'm like yes i'm tan don't look at actually how pale i am nobody knows and i'm wearing long sleeves so you can't even see how pale i am for the win wow who am i am i a cheerleader okay i was not a cheerleader